and I'm saying the Bible says I give you power where is it now listen someone has to get angry in this place this night and say enough is enough I'm not going to let things continue to be powerless Christianity resultless Christianity I keep giving all kinds of trust explanation no sir Hear me hear me your Bible is full of the story of men who knew how to receive power and knew how to operate it there was a man who lived like a God called Elisha one time Naaman the Bible says the captain of the Syrian army a valiant man in war but he was leprous and a little slave girl who served his wife she said oh there is a man that I can recommend for you if you have the humility of meeting that man listen to me they now wrote a letter to the king and the king said you see this trouble these people are just looking for an occasion for war when Elisha had it he said where is the man send him and let him know there is a prophet in Israel ah. I was told one time there was a time that they brought someone with a twisted face to Archbishop Idahosa of blessed memory do you know what he did he told the man look up and the man looked up he said God this man was created in your image if this is how you look leave him like that we need to repent as a generation this bragging we brag about power we've not seen anything those we call miracle workers in our generation were ushers in the Bible in fact they were in the welfare department you see the requirement to be a worker in welfare in the Bible you you needed to have revelation equal to a man of God to serve tables listen to me I know that power has been abused I know that there are people who have merchandised it but can I tell you, Abel Kuta, please hear me. If it is the move of God you want to see, if it is revival you want to see, if it's bringing this territory under the influence of the Christ, let me tell you this. Our explanations and stories, the world will soon become tired of us. They are already becoming tired of us. That's why our children now are not interested in the things of God. They prefer technology. They will be in church and they are browsing. You call Jesus, it's as if you call Satan for them. We need power. We need power. We need power. Shanada balakata, skade kete bareke te kotos, skade brente kabaros kadi galakata ba. A Christianity with results, a Christianity with genuine proofs that in one day you can bring glory to Jesus. In one day you can bring glory to Jesus. Listen to me, hear me, please. I want you to be patient tonight. I don't intend to keep us here for long but I want you to be patient because that sound from heaven will echo in this place again one more time one more time I can't guarantee that everybody will catch that fire but I know there must be someone here tonight someone tired of explanations without results Please look at me can I tell you this if we reject the ministry of the Holy Spirit and we reject the power that he's brought to us I was watching a video of one of the last standing old Yoruba fathers who was part of the move 
of a particular denomination he was talking in yoruba and tears were coming out of my eyes i said god what happened to us what where did we miss it how did we backslide is it beyond recovery my goodness i was reading about a dear people that i know very much charles and francis hunter sir in one meeting they raised 100 people from the wheelchair 100 if one person stands up from the wheelchair now i can brag and make noise as if i brought heaven down and took it back up this 100 in a service One hundred. Some of the fathers that God raised even from your region, these were men that were like herbalists. As soon as you enter their house, before you sit down, you are already shaking. The kind of power that came upon them, they can speak to you in Yoruba and open your heavens. They were not revealing what will happen. They were making it happen. Can I tell you the truth? with all due respect and honor to our fathers remember that our fathers were their students so to tell you the kind of students they trained there were things that were written in this bible they were not parables they were not parables man of god do you know what will happen to your church in all honesty when you truly receive power that you declare over your members and in one night a family with nine barren women that their wombs have refused to open because of witchcraft opens like a door where will you hide that testimony that a popular madman on your street like the madman in gadara now becomes healed and on sunday he's dressed in suit not stage manage miracles that one day someone passes a mortuary on his way to go and pray and suddenly starts hearing a shout from inside the mortuary i'm not dead oh open that door and the newspaper comes to capture it oh god where are you coming from he says from heaven somebody on earth refused to allow me go they held me and brought me back except we don't believe in this bible i came tonight with a cry to tell you there is more oh dear prayer warrior there is more it's good to pray but let your prayer produce results dear preacher there is more I don't mean to insult or challenge or you know negatively communicate anything but are you aware of the way we beg members why didn't you come to church i am not in the mood okay am i doing something wrong can you where, where did you find that in the bible i'm not saying to not treat people well don't get me wrong in the days of the generals a service will be starting 6 p.m in the morning by two o'clock or 12 there are already people queuing because they knew that if you saw those men it was like you saw God but let me tell you this before we begin to, we begin to pray almost every one of these men they died with a prophecy that there is coming a move of the spirit they died with a prophecy they said everything we saw can i tell you i've had the privilege to meet a few people who met these generals and my question to them is please tell me what did they tell you and almost every one of them will tell you that they left with a prophecy that that hand of god is coming again There are worshipers that are going to arise in power there are men of god that you we have not seen the apostolic and the prophetic you wait and see the breed of of those god is walking on abel kuta hear me 
do not elude yourself from this move in the next two minutes i like you to forget about who is at your left or right i like you to cry before god and say power from heaven fall upon my destiny power from heaven upon my destiny